Hi everyone, I am Shruti Vijayargi from BISP Solutions and this video I am going to tell you about the waterfall charts in R. So waterfall charts are often used for analytical purposes in the business setting to show the effect of sequentially introduced negative or positive values. Sometimes waterfall charts are also referred to as cascade charts. A waterfall chart is a form of data visualization which helps in determining the cumulative effect of sequentially introduced positive or negative values. Waterfall charts can be used in many areas including inventory analysis, profit loss analysis and sales analysis. We are going to usually understand the profit and loss statement by creating a waterfall chart. So let's first create a data set in R which talks about the different sources of income and cost. So for that purpose, I've already created a data set called balance. In this two entries are stored. First one is the DSC and the second one is the amount for these uh, values of data set. The second thing in order to preserve the order of the lines in a data frame, I convert the DSC variable to a factor and then we then create a new column called type which describes the different types of cash flows that is inflow, outflow or total net incomes. So first let's convert the DSC into a factor using the factor function and pass the DSC as argument. Next thing creating an ID and type uh, vector in these data sets. So ID is generated using the sequence along command and pass amount as argument so that for amount values the entries of total those amount entries the ID will be generated. The next is the type type is generated if using control structure. If amount is greater than zero, then in and out values are stored in the type uh, variable in a type vector or a variable and the net value is assigned to starting net income and ending uh, net income variables. Starting and ending, I am assigning uh, the value in the type variable net. So now if I write balance so the type uh, starting and and ending and contain net and for values uh, greater than zero and uh, for the values greater than zero in is assigned else out is assigned so now let's create two columns start and end and is the cumulative sum of the amount start in the end variable with a lag so this will be generated by writing for the end and is generated a variable for the balance uh, data and then cumulative sum for the amount then enter the next thing is with the help of this line the end values are generated and the first one is subtracted and the last one is assigned zero value. So the field is ending net income contains zero value for the end field. The next one is for assigning a start variable to a balanced data set and the first value will be zero and all the values of end data set is assigned to this uh, vector start and by subtracting one field now you can see here the start is zero and the end is zero and start has assigned all the values of end end vector 1200 1200 minus 1100 minus 1100 9900 now let's change the look that means i want id first here then dsc then amount then amount field and then so for that purpose you have to write it like this the order in which order you want your balanced data set so the first one is the id and id is the third column so i write third then one that means dsc then four that means th 
third one contains type then sixth column that means start then fifth column that means end and then the second column that is amount now we are going to use the function ggplot to plot the different matrix of plot profit and loss statement it also gives us the range for every type of cash flow in outer net so for that purpose you have to first install the package ggplot2 you can install any packages from the package and install package now using the ggplot2 command your waterfall chart is generated this value is the end value or the start value of this plots so waterfall is generated like this you can check it with your data frame as well that this will be correct or not that means for the starting and net i have the starting value 0 and the ending value 1200 so it is started at 0 and ended at some in between 0 to 5000 that means here which is 1200 then the write off it's start 1200 and end minus 1100 so start is 1200 and end it minus 1100 so with the help of waterfall chart you can check your data sets falling where your data sets falling with the negative as well as positive values as well so which type of argument ggplot2 takes first one is the data which is here the balance which is refers to the data set you are looking next is done the mapping the mapping between the dsc and the type that means my dsc values are these and it will be filled by the type argument that means net so my net uh, value is shown with the green in values are shown with the red and the out values is shown with the blue so that means this is my correct this is the net value so and here is showing your dsc value starting net income right off sales cogs overhead taxes bonuses other income ending net income so that means a starting and income and its mapping is done using type so aes is used for mapping next geom start sorry geom rect it specifies that the type of chart is rectangle also we have specified what these values these rectangular bars should take using the variables y minimum and y max value and x minimum equals to id minus 0.45 and x max equals to id plus 0.45 is writing here in the geom rectangle as argument so that the dis uh, the distance between the bars is shown the distance of the bars is created here so this is how you can create waterfall chart in r and waterfall chart is used for analytics purposes if you have any doubts you can ask me thanks for watching